Good morning, guys, and welcome to this week's Tuesday Truth. We're in a series where we're looking at some of the lessons that we as youth leaders have learned during lockdown. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. What is one foolproof way of figuring out what is most important to somebody? You see, the thing that you give your most time to, the thing that you give your most energy to, the thing that you think about most, that you prioritize most, is what is most important to you. So if I were to say to you that I have a jacket in my cupboard and it is the single most important thing in the world to me, but the jacket never comes out of my cupboard, I never wear it, I never think about it, I never prioritize it, you'd say, no, Dave, that jacket is not the most important thing to you. But let's say there was a pair of shoes in my cupboard and I wore those shoes all the time. And I thought about them all the time. I just loved those shoes. They were high on my priority list. Well, those shoes, you'd say, are way more important to me than the jacket. Even if I were to claim that the jacket was the most important to me. You know what I'm realizing in this lockdown period? Is that tough times, like lockdown, have a way of revealing what is most important to us. I'd like to ask you some questions this morning. Maybe um, you've figured out during lockdown what really is important to you, but maybe you're struggling to see what is most important to you. But I think it's really, really critical that we figure out what is most important to us. So I've got four questions, and I want you to answer these questions as honestly as possible. Because I believe that these questions will help us figure out, figure out what is really important to us. So question number one, what is the first thing you run to when you feel anxious? What do you spend most of your free time doing? What do you think about most in your day? What brings you the most joy in the day? As Christians, we're very good at declaring, at saying that God is the most important thing to us. I mean, we even sing songs like, Christ is enough for me at church. But I wonder whether he really is. I wonder whether God really is the most important thing to us. And maybe lockdown has revealed to you that God doesn't get as much time as he should. That we don't think about him as much as we should. That actually there are other things that are more important to us than him. In John chapter 6, verse 35, Jesus says these words, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. You see, Jesus here is saying, I am the all-satisfying bread. Bread in this picture is that thing that you just need for sustenance and life. Imagine yourself on a desert island. Man, the thing you want most is water. Jesus is saying he is the bread and the water that fills our hunger and quenches our thirst. And most of us would be able to say, yes, I, I've had that experience in my life when I became a Christian. There was a time in my life when I realized I needed a savior. Man, I, I had sin in my life and I needed someone to forgive me. And we had that moment where he indeed was the bread and the water. But I believe that God wants us to experience Jesus as being the bread and the water, not just at the moment we become Christians, but every single day of our lives. I believe that Jesus is meant to be the most important, most satisfying thing each and every moment of every day. But can I get honest with you? Lockdown has shown me that I don't really believe that to be true. 
That's a hard thing to admit. But you see, I, I can say that Jesus is the most important thing to me. He's the bread in my life. But I give my time and my energy to other things. I wonder if you can relate to me. But here's the burning question. How does God become the most important thing to us? Because I think if you love God, man, somewhere in your heart, you, you want him to be the most important thing to you. And so you want an answer to that question. How, how does God become the most important thing to me? Well, something only becomes important to you when you realize that you really, really need it. And when you realize that you really, really, really need God, he'll become important to you. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're feeling anxious for some reason. Maybe it's schoolwork uh, or, or, you know, anxious about the future with this pandemic. And you feel the anxiety levels rising. Maybe the first thing that you do is you run to Facebook or Insta and you just scroll to kind of just escape the, the feelings of anxiety. Or maybe you run to a TV show or maybe you just want to go, go to sleep or maybe you want to eat something. And those things are designed to give us some form of pleasure. If they didn't, we wouldn't do them. And in that moment, they, they, they numb your pain. They take away the anxiety for a moment. And man, you just you feel a sense of happiness. And that's why we keep going back to them. But if we're honest, the peace and the comfort that they give doesn't last. But let's say you feel your anxiety levels rising. And the first thing that you do is you go to God and you just confess it. You get honest. You say, God, I am feeling so anxious about the future. I'm feeling so anxious about how I'm going to get my schoolwork done. Man, and I'm so tempted. I just want to run to food or run to this to, to ease it. But, but God, I'm going to believe in this moment that you're the bread of life. And then in that moment, as you get honest with God, you feel God giving you peace as he reminds you of a scripture Maybe that as, as you, you're anxious, he's calling you to not be anxious. And how as you come to him with that anxiety, he fills you with peace. And as you do that, what starts to happen is you realize, man, he's giving peace and comfort that Facebook doesn't give or Insta doesn't give or food doesn't give. And what that does is it starts to make you realize that Jesus is indeed the only bread that satisfies. He gives you a real lasting peace that satisfies the deepest parts of you. And slowly but surely, the more you come to him, the more you are motivated to keep coming to him because he satisfies. So if you're like me, and you might say God is more important to you than anything else, but man, you find actually you're running to other things for that stuff. I would say to you that the starting point is not to pretend, but just to go to God and get honest and say, God, you're not as important as I say you are. My heart's not as content with you as I wish it was, but this is who I am. And I believe that as you get honest with God, God will be there with a smiling face, patient and kind. And he'll say, I know, and I love you, and I forgive you. And I want you to know that I give you peace. And the more you do that, the more you'll want to keep doing that. And the more you keep doing that, the more you'll realize that God is starting to become the most important thing to you. I hope this has been helpful. Please add comments. Please like. We'd love to engage in discussion over this. And we'll see you guys on Friday night for X Squared Fun. God bless and have a great day. Cheers.